what do women want or what do men want i recently saw this interview where somebody was being asked what do you think women want and it was so interesting because it was an interview with two men right and they were asking right amongst each other and i was thinking like that's actually it's funny because and i'm not laughing at them because they were like two they are two brilliant men both of them but i'm laughing because i think most of us like humanity we reached a point where we got so disconnected and so divorced first of all from our humanity and then from what it means to be a woman what does it mean to be a man that we find it hard if not impossible to understand what the other gender wants because we don't yet know what is it that we want we don't know what what and who is it that we are right we have become so conditioned and so heavily programmed by everything external to ourselves not just in this lifetime because right we have it in our dna and in our genes we have it from generation from eons back right all the heavy programs and all the limitations they are ingrained in all of us right and we became so uh, disconnected and divorced and so far away from what does it mean to be a human being? What does it mean to be a woman? What does it mean to be a man? And I, I believe in order for us to first, first and for well, most to answer, what does it mean to be a human being? And then what does it mean to be a woman? If I am a woman, and what does it mean to be a man? And then if I am a woman, what does it mean? What we say that men want, right? In order for me to know that, I think, first of all, I have to know who I am. And I do this. I do this not by, right? looking outside myself and asking anybody or anything external to myself no i return to myself and i have to like do this heavy introspection and i have to be willing as same point to say every night i die because i put my head on the pillow right and i have to die i have to die as luminita that i knew i have to die to all my programs all my limitation everything that i was like raised to believe that i am everything that i was conditioned that society right education religious system family all these things i have to constantly die to all these things until i reach a point where right i just become empty of that and then i can like go within and ask myself or as i said be still and know right what is it know the truth that is already deeply rooted within you right and i begin to ask myself questions as who am i what does it mean to be human right where do i come from where am i going what does it mean to be a female right and then asking this and how can i become the embodiment of that right because it's not just it's not just important uh, to know things right you have to become the embodiment of them and it's all it's all within us right it's like learning to layer by layer discard ourselves and die to everything that we once were in order for us to become what we truly are and to the to answer to the question what do women want i guess this is something that a woman has to first right return to herself and ask herself who am i and what does it mean to be a woman right and then die to all the programs and all the limitations that were imposed upon a woman by from the beginning of creation till this day right but everything external to us and i think for men is the same and when we begin to do that right men and women i believe they can come back into this world with a new energy and anchor this pattern that has always been within us but covered by so many layers right and so many limitations as it says in um, the scripture of philip just as a pearl, right, who is covered by mud does not lose its value. I think in the same way, we, we never lost our values. We never lost our femininity, our masculinity, right? It's just that we became indoctrinated and programmed to think that these things are something that they are not. And that is why all this friction, all this discord, and all this inner conflict and outer conflict between genders, because as long as there's going to be in, inner conflict, there's going to be outer conflict. So... It is my hope that you will maybe, you know, return to yourself and ask yourself, what does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a woman? What does it mean to be a human being? being? And be willing and brave enough and courageous to die to everything that you are told in order to become who you truly are.